Yeah, how's it going, everybody? My name is Sugar Hat. Welcome back to Imposter Factory. We're off to find... I don't remember her name. Uh, I don't remember her name at all. My brain's completely blank. It was just yesterday that I played this. Wait, if I find a body upstairs alone again, I might get, that might get me in trouble again. I should get someone from the party to come along with me. Good idea! So we still don't really know what's going on. It's a big old mystery. Wait. Hello? Oh, that light, it's so bright. Where's it coming from? Was there a light fixture on there? Wait, is there a skylight? Wait, the music box is playing. A working vintage record player. Record player, I don't know why I said it like that, but wait. Oh, it's kind of showing me where the chandelier is, okay. Well, that didn't, okay, let's go. To the kitchen? Oh, where's everybody at? Them too? Where is everybody? Oh, this is... This is... I I shouldn't be getting freaked out. It's a sprite game. Sprites aren't scary. This is scary though. Can I wash my hands again? Just an ordinary sink. It is not just an ordinary sink. You liar Mick pants on fire. Can I go here? The door is locked. Okay. Is this a... Puzzle? Are we... Am I in hell? Oh, I guess now I can go upstairs. Because the whole point was I couldn't go upstairs because he was like, oh, there's, we got to get someone from the party to go up with us. Yeah, that's why. So we're all good. I'm not really looking forward. I don't want to go in here. There's going to be dead people. Dead people? Oh, it's all the same people. I thought it was like the party guests. It's literally the same two people over and over again. What's happening? I don't understand. What is this? What? What? Okay. At least I know that I'm not crazy. Wow. Okay. There's just piles and piles and piles of dead people. Holy... What is this feeling? Whoa! Door's locked. Oh, 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 I'm tripping balls! I'm so fast! Oh! The door won't open. Well, uh oh. Was that the door? What, unlocking? Uh oh. Oh, man. What's out here? Cat? Cat? Doors locked. This music is great. Bump, bump, bump. Doors locked. Okay, let's go downstairs. There's just oh, there's just gonna be piles and piles. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, into here. Let's wash our hands again. Oh oh, what is happening to me? What is happening to me? Oh, 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 oh no, oh no, oh no. Which one's real me anymore? I don't know. Oh, no. Wait, it's every time I try to move. Um, I. Is this the real me? Who's real me? Are they are they all me? Am I all the real person? Uh Hi, Linry, that's your name. I forgot your name and what in the Hi, I'm I'm sorry that we have to meet on these terms, but there's 400 of me behind me. We're having a rough day. There's dead people outside. Even just one of you was enough trouble as it was. She knows what's going on, doesn't she? Whoa. Whoa! 
What? What the pug? Hey, 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 hey. You cannot just shoot a magical beam of light out of your forehead and... Dead just... What? Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey. Linry, what's up? What is going on? That's a, that's a good question. I'm sorry. Yeah, this was going to be about you, but then this happened. What? I ran more iterations, but I can't stop it. It keeps on happening and it shouldn't. What? The dead people? Wait, you can't just leave like that. Yeah, you gotta explain what's going on. What's going on? Tell me what's going on. Yeah, please. That actually would have been trying to figure out myself. Seems like you weren't reset like the rest, though. What now? Guess that's one more thing to fix. What? Reset. But this is good. Maybe you can show me what you saw. What? What I saw... Well, it all started when I went into the washroom earlier, and then... Whoa! I'm a movie projector. You've seen some weird stuff that might come in handy. What? What the pug? Funny coincidence, though. That really did make the sink seem like a time machine. What? But the chances that my resets line up so perfectly with the sink, improbable. What? Are you even talking to me? Wait a minute. Am I a robot? You might be a robot. I'm sorry. As I said, I'm just a bit preoccupied right now. You're a robot. I'm so sorry. Basically, I created this world and I created you. What? Whoa. What? What? Yeah. Am I a self-aware robot person man thing? That's kind of horrifying. I like I'm just got my hands on my head the whole time. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know I gotta check every door on the way through. Hey, lady, can you kind of not tell me that I'm a robot that has no purpose in life? This wasn't something I wanted to show you this iteration, but since I need to keep you around for reference, you might as well go and have a look. Hold on. Yeah, back up a minute. What do you mean you created... I mean, what even is this place? God? I think you'll find the answers inside here. Will I? Because I'm not so sure I will. Sorry, you have to keep these weird memories, though. I'll need them later for reference. Now, I'm not your book material reference person. Try not to worry about it. Not worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Listen. Go on, I'll meet you in there. But, 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 get your butt in there. And she kicked my ass right through the door. And she locked me in. What a mess. Might as well let this one run its course. What? I guess the first time's ever the term, but to happen every time. Every time when... Wait a minute. What? Where am I? She kicked me into the basement? Hey, hey. You said you meet me in here, bitch. Oh, and now the stairs are gone. Oh, man. Now I'm in purgatory. This is your... You keep this in your house? This is where your answers are. What even? Am I a ghost? Why am I see-through? What? Act two? That didn't explain anything! I might be a robot. I might be in hell. I might be the whim of some lady's fancy scientist machine thing. What am I? What? Oh, it's, it's beautiful. Feels lavender and stuff. But where? Good question. Can I? It feels odd to just leave everything behind like this. You're not questioning why you're here? Why'd she send me here? A field of lavender? Data. What the heck was that? she farm in my brain while I'm running through fields? Cause that's not cool. That's not cool, lady. I'm just saying. Hello. Oh. Hey. Oh, it's the memory orb things from the last games. 
Uh, yes, yes, I know what these are. What was that? It's a memory orb thing. Are these people? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Now, no, everyone stay together, okay? Mrs. Jones. Okay, it must be like a school. Peter, quit picking on Izzy like that. And Linry. Linry. Hey, Linry! Don't go far from the group, especially you! Oh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. This is in the past, but how? This is giving me the heebie-jeebies, because this is how the last games kind of went. Now, Linry has specific instructions from your parents that... Hey, stop running! Who's... Who's her parents? Okay, if you do that again, yeah, go get her. The doctor said your participation on this trip is conditional. What's conditional? The doctor. Which doctor? Linry, if you don't watch it. Linry? Oh! Oh. Oh. No, wait. I'm, I'm getting some... Linry, what? I got a whole bunch of thoughts in my head about how this could be going. Everything here froze as soon as she fainted. Doesn't mean this place is all based on her. Ah, uh, whoa. Oh, yeah, I used the memory orbs to break it down. Hey, bam. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. These games never, ever end up well. The hospital? I like that clock winding back. Okay. Okay. I need to find four memories. I'll do it! Who are you? Sorry, Dad. This was all my fault, wasn't it? You should be more careful, Linry. Okay. For a second, I thought her parents were Watts and Rosalind. I was like, uh... But no, this isn't your fault. So we're in the past now. Do you think I'll still be able to go on more class trips? Well, we'll have to see what the doctor says. Just be patient. We'll try our best, okay? Okay. This is the second time it happened, isn't it? Yeah, we thought it was a one-off. We really shouldn't have allowed her, in to go, allowed her to go without close supervision. Well, fortunately, the fall was cushioned. These early symptoms would be dangerous. Experimental drugs for them are on the horizon. But in the long run, could one of you stay here with Linry? As for the other, please come with me. Okay. And what's up? I can't hear what they're saying. Is it is because she couldn't? <gasps> I'm in her mind. Is she hooked up to Watson Rosalind's machine? Oh, this isn't gonna go well, is it? This is not gonna go well. This is a cool little house. I have heebie jeebie feelings. Heebie jeebies. I have the jeebies and the heebies. But when will it happen? Tomorrow? Years down the road? Hey, it's not certain that it will turn malignant, right? There's a chance that it will never surface. But there's a chance that it will. Then we'll treat it. If we start treatment as soon as it worsens, if it worsens, then we have another chance, right? Still, it's just... It just feels like there's so much uh, left to mere chance. What are you doing here, Lynn? I can't sleep. Is there something wrong with me? Mm. Don't worry, Lynn. It's nothing we can't get through together. Is that what's keeping you up? No. Oh, then what's the matter? 
doctor said I can't go on field trips anymore, didn't he? Not for now, but they're working on something that will help. Oh. Are you sad that you had to end the trip early today? Yeah. I didn't want to leave so soon. Everyone else got to stay the whole day. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. If she's hooked up to the memory machine, they could let her think that she went on the trip for full? Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's go back then. But what's with all the dead people? Go back. When? Why not now? Really? It's late, Bill. Oh, there's no harm in a little nighttime excursion now and then. Besides, I got just a thing for it. What? Hooray! Are you coming, Mom? It's okay, I'll stay. I'll make some warm soup for when you two get back. Mmm, soup. Okay. All right. Oh, is that really a telescope? Cool! Sure is, and I'll show you how it works, too. Nice. I'm gonna put it in the car, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go say bye to Mom. Okay. I don't like this data bar. I feel like I'm being farmed. Oh. This is not going to end well, is it? This is going to be another one of those games, isn't it? Can go. Ooh, pretty. It's that light again. Linry, is that you? Oh, up in the sky. Okay. Ooh. Pretty. Aww. It's a great view. It says here that it should be just to the, a bit to the west, but there are just so many of them. How can you track one down? Hmm, I think I found it. You did? I want to see. Wow, I can't believe it. It really does look like the pictures in the books. Aww. Hey, didn't I tell you? You name it, I'll find it. What if they don't have a name? All those stars, they don't all have names yet, do they? Well, why don't you come up here and see for yourself? Aww. Hey, Dad. Do you think there's a star up there with my name? There's already a star with your name, Linry. It's just not up there. What? That's cheesy, Dad. I still like the lavender more, but lavender! I'll admit, the stars are pretty cool, too. That's what she told me to remember. What's one thing I could say that she would know that I was trapped in the thing? You know what's amazing about them, Lynn? Pretty. Even though those stars all shine brightly, many of them have already been gone for a long time. Gone? It's true. Yeah, even the stars don't last forever. But then why do we still see them? Well, that's because during the time they were here, they shine so brightly that their light traveled so far, it reaches us even now. Wow. I suppose I should thank them then. Without them, I wouldn't be able to see the lavender field. Well, then maybe you should thank the lavender too. Because without them, there would be nothing to see, right? Yeah. The lavender may not be in the sky, but I like them better that way. I can play in them, smell them, and see them up close. The stars are all so far away, but I guess they got their own part to do too. I wouldn't change a thing about either of them. Wouldn't change a thing, huh? So if you could be either, which would you rather be? Hmm? Well, I still like Lavender more, so... I, I want to be a star. 
Why star if you like lavender more? Da dan. To make sure everyone can see the lavender, of course. I'd shine down in this field so bright and make it light as day. And then everybody could always just see how lovely it is. Oh. Sounds like you make a wonderful starling. This isn't gonna end well, is it? This is nice, Dad. I wish we could stay up late and come here every week. But, Dad, can I ask you something? Yes, Lynn? Why was Mom crying? <sighs> Time for me to go. She get better? Aww. Oh. Okay. So maybe she got better. Giraffe? Just like the giraffes, the peppered moth is used as an example of natural selection. Although the experiment has been debated, the hypothesis remains unchanged. Hypothesis that when genetic mutation occurs, natural selection decides whether it lives or on its die or dies out. If the mutation is good, then the organism is more likely to survive and pass on its genes. If the mutation is harmful, it's less likely to survive and reproduce, thus filtering itself out. Yes. And she's out. Genetics, not your thing, is it? <laughs> okay. Hi. Emily, you feeling okay, Lily? I'm fine. Why? Well, for one, you seemed upset. And then there's the whole leaving in the middle of class thing. Does she consider herself like a mutant? I just didn't want to waste the time, that's all. I was already familiar with the topics being taught. So you skip class to read? I used to do that, shh. What even is that I did that? Microbiology? Oh, come on. You skip Stacy's parties but have time for freaking Michael blah blah? High school years are for making memories. No, I used to skip high school to go to the library and read. Huh? You got an interesting point. What? Hey, where are you going? I'm going to find some books on the formation of memories. <gasps> That's not what I meant. I know, but thanks anyway. Whoa. Whoa. She's not... Okay, so she's still sick. Okay. We got a big old library. The formation of memories. She's not like Watts's mother or something, is she? Hey. It's still a bit behind schedule, isn't it? Yeah, but I'll catch up. There's still a lot to analyze, but at least I have the data now. Mmm, good. I know it's a lot, but yours is the one I'm truly looking forward to most. No pressure. Yeah, no pressure at all, dink. So much pressure in school to do things. Oh. What's up? Oh no. What happened? Oh, 
Oh, she's up here. What are you up to? That's it. I'm dropping out. What? <laughs> Bye. I guess this place is no joke. But come to think of it, why do I feel as if... As if I graduated from somewhere just like this? Oh my. What the pug? Excuse me. Is this seat free? Seems like it. What? <laughs> Wait. If this is supposed to be the past, and my past too, how come I don't remember this at all? I mean, this place is familiar and all, but... Hey, why is it getting darker? Yeah, wait, what? It's just the two of them, what? Oh no! What? <laughs> is it really nighttime already? Oh man, I guess so. You dozed off too, huh? Yeah, I can't believe this. This is the second time this week. I'm gonna mess up my sleep schedule. You look a little bit burnt out. Yeah, well, who isn't nowadays? It's like, so you wanna actually do something? Actually, how did you fall asleep like that? Yeah, uh, well, jet lag. Jet lag? Yeah, I just came back from backpacking around the world. Cool. Wow, lucky. Yeah. But now I gotta catch up. Wait, you mean... You literally just took a trip in the middle of a semester? Wait. What? Yup. Why? Hmm. <laughs> Alright, maybe I should go back to work while I'm still sane. Me too. I got a bunch of essays to catch up on. Rough. What's your major? I'm majoring in li... Li... Liberal Arts. Oh. Liberal Arts can be very useful. I didn't even say anything, that was unprovoked. <laughs> Look, I'm being sincere. I don't know why these guys took as much flack around here. What are you majoring in? I'm in... Uh, new. Well, it's a little embarrassing. It's okay, go on. What is it? Neuroscience doctorate, technically. You bastard. <laughs> so what, are you working on becoming a doctor? Well, no, I'm more into the research side. My paper's on this synaptic modification and encoding of memories. What's wrong? It's nothing. Well, it's gonna be a long night. I'm gonna grab some coffee from across the hall. You want one too? Sure, thanks. My name's Quincy, by the way. I'm Linry. What? We knew each other, but I don't recall any of it. Yeah, what? Unless she wanted memories with me. That would make sense. And she like, if she's hooked up to Watts' machine, We were like good friends? 
What? Then how come... He's got things on his mind. Oh, I'm at, I'm at the end of the memory. So I like, got the hots for her? What? But how come I don't remember any of it? What? Okay. Wait. Oh my god. We're like... Are we dating? Oh my. Oh my. There are... <laughs> there are lots of memories here. I'm so touched, yet lost. Did we date? Did I die? And she's putting memories in to me? Oh. And how about the Eiffel Tower? Yeah, it was quite a sight. I mean, there are a lot of taller structures nowadays, but there's just something about the way it stands alone in the horizon. Sounds nice seeing all those places up close. I wonder if it's different from the pictures. Are you kidding? Of course it's different. It's standing to meet the proof of civilization, close enough to reach out and touch history. Wow. I hope your anthropology professor shares the same level of enthusiasm. Eiffel Tower, the Pyramids of Giza, the Great Wall. Honestly, I've always wanted to go too. Why don't you? I mean, if I'm able to save it for a trip, I'm sure you could too. No, it's just... I don't have the time. Don't have the time? I know you're busy, but surely you can spare a few weeks. It's not just that. I chose my path a long time ago, Quincy. I have to find a place where I'll leave a mark and I don't know how long I have to get there. It's nice catching glimpses of the scenery as I go, but if I were to stop and smell the roses, I'm afraid I'd realize how nice it all is and just stay. I see. It's quite a dramatic way to put it. But it's also kind of romantic. Aw, reminds me of those stars in the sky. Huh? Like, they shine and brighten the earth below, but can't be a part of this world themselves. Oh. Y yeah. Something like that. Our time here is so limited, I always feel such a pressure to make something of it. Heh. <laughs> well, I guess that always had a different effect on me. When I think of how limited our time is here, I can't help but want to simply enjoy it while it lasts. I guess it's kind of selfish in comparison. Not wrong with simply wanting to experience the world. Sounds like something my grandma would say. I mean that in the nice way possible, of course. It's just she always lived one lived life one day at a time, the purest sense. Were you and your grandma close? Sure. My parents passed away in an accident when I was young, so she brought me up. Sorry to hear. Well, it was a long time ago. But I remember when it first happened, people thought Grandma was heartless because well, because she seemed to move on with her new life and routine rather fast. But I knew it wasn't because of that. She still grieved and reminisced about them every day, missing them. She just had this view on life. She was just grateful to be here and take the blissful with the tragic to be reborn every day. She always joked that even if the world ended tomorrow, she'd still be okay with that. Even if the world ended tomorrow... I envy her. I'm not sure I'd be able to live a day to day like that. Me neither, but I guess it did rub off on me a bit through the years. She passed away not long before we first met, actually. 
developed Alzheimer's later in life and complications got her. When we first met, is that why you went on that trip? You know, when you told me about your paper when I came back, I really questioned the path I'd chosen. I thought, there's someone who's, there's someone whose work could make a difference. And here I am just prancing through life for myself. It's not exactly an altruistic choice on my part either, to be honest. It's more like an impulse. In a way, I wish I could feel content just being carefree and having fun, but I can't. Sometimes I wonder if I'll be bitter about it in the end. Well, sounds like maybe we could keep each other in check. Maybe we could. Hey, what do you think if... If, I mean, I know we hang out now and then already, but... What if we do that, but... More? Like, I know this place outside campus that makes the best avocado salad. Take a shot, take a shot, take a shot. Are you asking me out? Well, if you put it that way, yeah, I guess I am. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. I don't think that's a good idea. It's because I'm a liberal arts major, isn't it? <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. But it's okay. I get it. No hard feelings. Let's just... I'm sick, Quincy. I have been since I was a kid. Every morning I wake up, I'm never sure if I'll take a turn for if it will take a turn for the worst. I'm a time bomb. Wow. There's no reason not to love. Did I? I guess I can be quite an arse. Wait, but if I can't remember any of this, is it still really me? Did I leave? Oh no, excuse me, is this seat free? It's taken, sorry. Oh no. Oh no, did I never come back? Buzz? Who's the text from? Who's the text from? That's all I've got? Oh, but the barrier's still standing. Wait, why does it feel like... I've never been able to do that before. Why didn't that work on all the other ones too? Yeah, the other games didn't do that. I got some sort of magic powers. <sighs> Am I a memory? What? Oh man. Oh, okay. We're up to like current time. Oh my god. You made it. 
That jacket. Wait, it's what I'm wearing now. Yeah, I got your message. Well, that's a lovely dress. Thanks, it's a bit chilly though. I thought we were going somewhere indoors. Oh, uh, wait a minute. When I said the dress well, I meant warmly. <laughs> oh my god. Because of this freaky cold weather front tonight. <laughs> and you know, snow in autumn. Oh, I get it. You wanted me to pull this move on you, huh? What? No, that's not what I... Test pass. Score one for Quincy. <laughs> Come on, follow me. Hey, really, it was an honest mistake. Oh. Hold on. I'm just going to make sure everything's still up. okay up there. What? Okay, good to go. Maybe you could blindfold yourself for the surprise. I don't think that's a good idea walking upstairs. Good point. Okay, then just walk up really slowly. Okay. I will. I'll walk up slow. That's as slow as I can go, I'm sorry. That's a road, look out! What the heck is that? Ta-da! Is that... That's right. The Eiffel Tower. And you're laughing. <laughs> no, no, I love it. It's actually rather thoughtful. Did you make that for me? Of course. I mean, you want to see the world, right? Did he build... It's the real thing, but this is actually kind of clever. It is, right? Wait, what do you mean by no offense to the real thing? There's a little Stonehenge. Look at this. Next stop, the Stonehenge. How neat. Does the cafeteria know that they're missing trays, though? <laughs> I'll return them in the morning. Shh. The Sydney Opera House? I'd love to see an opera one day. Why wait when you can do it right now? <laughs> On second thought. <laughs> oh, Michelangelo's David. I mean, I'm no Michelangelo, but... Duct tape, really? Hey, I'm on a budget here. It's not Big Ben, but it's a Ben. Huh? Pizza o'clock. Always. It is always pizza o'clock. Behold, the decent wall. <laughs> Please tell me you didn't eat all that taco by yourself. I wish I could, I really do. The Leaning Tower of Pizza... Of Coffee! Missed opportunity with the Pizza Ben Tower earlier, perhaps? What? You would not believe the number of balls I had to find for this Taj Mahal. I count seven. Oh uh, yeah, that's that's right. Seven. <laughs> Isn't one of the pyramids missing? Yeah, someone's using it as a tarp. And someone's using these pyramids. And someone's using these pyramids. I want the bigger vision, I'd say. Using these pyramids, oh my god. This was actually really nice. Thank you for putting it all together for me. Must have taken a while, huh? Well, I don't like to brag, but you would not believe how much I had to eat to get all the props. Then we look. 
I know you don't have much time to be distracted from your goals, but I'm not here to do that. I know you can walk your path alone. It must be hard sometimes. But perhaps it doesn't have to be like that. If you want to see the world, I'll bring it to you. When you need a reason to keep going, I'll remind you. And if you want to be the sky, then maybe I can be your earth. The, the, light, the light in the sky. You're proud of that line, huh? You should be, it's great. It is lonely, I'll give you that. Walking this road sometimes, I think, if I have to not look in order to keep going, then how far can I really go? And it's not that I don't want to, believe me. Finding someone, settling down, maybe, maybe even starting a family. It's not the first time I thought about it. But all this, this isn't why I said it wouldn't be a good idea. It still didn't stop even putting that dress on tonight. Hey, if it's me you're worried about, you don't have to. I'll be okay. My choice is my own. All you have to decide for is yourself. After all, my grandma raised me to be the way I am, remember? Even if the world ends tomorrow, huh? Even if the world ends tomorrow. But until then... Until then... of this though this is gonna be like heart shattering isn't it oh man I'm, I'm so just oh man we're official oh she continues her studies okay those are Starbucks I know those are Starbucks I know those cops really well. Oh, she's still getting doctor's appointments. Okay. Everything seems okay still. Aww. Are those her parents? So proud of you, Lynn. We always knew you could do it. But I didn't expect you to bag yourself a cute one while you're at it, too. Um, that's not appropriate for a first meeting. The first meeting of many, I hope. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just so happy. It's been so many years. I just can't believe how far you've come. You just said you always knew I could do it. Not now, now. Today's for celebrating these accomplishments. Their accomplishments. Why don't you join us for dinner tonight, Quincy? We can talk about both your post-graduation plans. Ah, Okay, thank you, Mr. There you are, Linry. Oh, these two! The the butler and the and the woman. And it's it's I just realized they didn't say the last name. Mr. and it blocked it off. Oh no. Oh no. These two. You you're from Dr. Haynes and Dr. You send their regards. And us, of course, in the flesh. Congratulations. Does this mean I passed their interview? The interview, that was just a formality. To confirm that you authored the paper, mostly. Say, would you like to attend a party, Linry? A party? Of an introductory sort. On behalf of the Hugh Haynes Foundation, I'd like to extend this invitation to you. What should I expect? A professional networking event of sorts. The details are on the card. 
that's the party that I'm going to. Like, like, opportunities like this don't come often. We trust that you'll consider it. But, I will. By the way, it's a formal party, so do dress well. That's why she was dressed up. Oh my god, what? But... But... Oh man. Oh man. This is the storm, the storm at the beginning. This is, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Here again. Yeah, mailbox. A shiny mailbox. Cool. Answers. What's this? This fountain still looks old and broken down, but it's something glittery. The place is as whole as it seems. The place as a whole seems more maintained. <gasps> Flo Floofy Fox. Yeah, Sir Flu Fox. Drinking pool. Wait, Floopy Fox isn't there. What? Let me in. It's almost three o'clock. Oh my god, the clock said three when I got there. It was, it was, this is five to three. ages since I've last washed my hands here. All these umbrellas, I guess the guests have already arrived. A bit past three. Hi, where's the other guy at? Hey. Ooh, I'm a ghost. <laughs> Would you like rice? Wait, you can see me? Cut out rice bot, no one's asking for rice. Would Rika like rice? No, stop it. Okay. I'd like rice. Magic bathroom? This place. This is a memory? Ordinary sink, so this isn't a time machine. Okay. Yes. Yes, they're ready for you upstairs. Right this way. Hi. Oh, they can't see me. Nobody can see me. I'm a ghost. Oh, this must be the two old people upstairs. They're... They're... Oh, I can't get through that yet. Door's locked. Doors locked, but I'm sort of already inside this door. I mean, he's not wrong. Wait, do I have? Oh, I did have all three. Never mind. Let me in. I didn't go in the kitchen yet. Wait, what keeps making these two die over and over again? Wait, they were just. Oh my god. Direct human to machine memory interfacing. Oh my god, she designed the machine that Watts and Rosalind use. Interfacing and permuting. You don't have to worry about that. 
Knowing your area of expertise, we only expect your help with the former. That sounds fascinating, even though it wasn't exactly the job posting. Of course not. But it's better, isn't it? The research you'd be doing here wouldn't be far beyond the scope of any other on your list. You understand why it's not on the public posting, don't you? I suppose so, but why me? Surely there are more experienced candidates. Well, we've done our background check, and your particular situ... Oh, we could always use some fresh perspective, that's all. And don't sell yourself short, your paper speaks for itself. Ah, there's no reason for self-doubt. Imposter syndrome is commonplace among talents, don't let it get to you. Thank you for believing in me, what? Well then, now that we're past that step... Shall we go sign the NDAs and witness some miracles firsthand? But I already signed NDAs before coming here. Well, there's always more NDA, NDA, and waivers. Waivers? Bureaucracy. You better learn to love the paperwork. Uh. Hey! Doesn't seem like she's a Linry who could see me. I guess this is still some kind of replay, human-machine memory interfacing, huh? Wait, if I'm a ghost... Laptop with a physical lock on it. A series of contracts with smudged words. Door's locked. Oh, but I want to see the cat! Hope that bastard's doing alright. <laughs> if... If I'm a ghost can I get past the glass oh god I think we're about to unveil it oh and I think I know what it is and as promised the prototype I don't recognize that though oh my gosh it's hideous do you expect us to invest in a printer from last century as Dr. Haynes says, it's only a prototype. Although he does have a taste for rather vintage aesthetics. Oh, oh. That looks familiar, though. I'm not one to judge books by its cover, but... If this has the quantum qu computational capabilities that you proclaimed, it's unbelievably small. And I know we made some significant progress on cooling, but to practically eliminate it... No, this is mostly a wired client connected to a to the computing center. Most of the calculation is done elsewhere. That being said, even with stubbed cerebral data, its astonishing potential is evident. Allow me to demonstrate. Oh. I wish it showed the actual demo before everything froze. They used it on her, didn't they? But why? I don't get that part of it. Oh, oh, it's us again. Phew, that's the last box. Told you we get everything here by tonight. So it wasn't the same party, or was it? Hey, what is it? Are you sure about this? Moving all the way here with me because of my job? Yeah. You had arrangements back home too, didn't you? Oh yeah, but nothing like this. I mean, the U Haynes Foundation. Whatever you do there, I'm sure it's cutting edge. Still. Hey, it's okay. I know how much this means to you. And don't worry, I'm sure I'll figure something out for myself here, too. Work at McDonald's or something. Thanks, Quince. I'm glad you're here. Of course. I promised I would. Anywho, let's just settle down and let's get you some rest. Can't have you sleepwalking on your first day tomorrow. Oh. This reminds me. At the mansion today, they literally had a golden toilet. Literally? Literally. Wow. Do they really need to sit on gold to take a dump? What's in here? The good old mattress again. 
Why does it feel like going from one dorm to another? It's kind of cozy if you ask me. Makes me think of camping. You're never really gone camp before, have you? Not exactly. Yeah, there's not many mattresses while you're camping. The legendary spare room. It could be anything. It could be a study room. Or a pinball room. With bookcases over there. Or a mini golf room. And finally get a desktop computer over there. Or a throne room. Oh my god, this is like me and Mrs. Cat. Oh? Oh, this must be your first day of work. It's morning already. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, how do I look? Well, I don't mean to alarm you, but there's a person attached to your hair bun. And she looks kick-ass. I'll be back by supper. Go on, you're going to do great. Aww. Okay. Something happened. Oh no. Oh. Floofy fox. Oh my god, it's an actual fox. Wow, is that a real fox? No, it's just a sentient fox tail. Of course it's a real fox. Why won't it come out? It's a real shy fox. The others have already arrived. Rika's, Rika's waiting for you on the inside. Okay, I'll go find her, thanks. There's a, a real fox. Okay, we gotta make our way into this house and we are halfway through our data bar here. But we will continue the rest of that in the next video. We are gonna find out a lot more about what exactly is going on. I'm not entirely too sure myself, but I have suspicions. What do you guys think is going on? Let me know down in the comments down below. This is going to be absolutely heartbreaking, isn't it? I know this is going to shatter me. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below. Keep being awesome, everyone, and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.